this thing's still in London on Kwai Chi and we are going to go down Dean Street which is uh, this street here. Uh, down there is um, one side of Chinatown and this is Shaftesbury Avenue. So let's go down uh, Dean Street, the street that Admiral Nelson stayed in um, the day before setting sail for the Battle of Trafalgar. In fact, he spent the night drawing up his final battle plans here, um, including the masterstroke of painting his um, ship golden black. Uh, he also selected uh, his coffin around here, uh, just in case he died, and it was a good job he did, because he did die. Um, over on the left we've got Denny's, uh, which is a specialist uh, catering uh, uniform place. I think they do other things apart from catering. They do like weighted uniforms and things as well. Um, over on our right we've just passed the, the Golden Lion. There's quite a lot of bars and pubs here. Uh, another pub here, uh, LVPO. Uh, and we've got the French house there and a restaurant next to it. Paradiso Boudoir on the left. The Dean Street Studios. So fascinating that somebody else is taking a photo too. Soho uh, Pocha, which is now closed. Uh, looks like they went bust. It's a shame when that happens. All these places going bust. Uh, Costa Coffee on the corner of uh, Old Compton Street. Old Compton Street is uh, uh, the gay capital of London. Uh, we'll cover that another time. On the corner here we've got Soho Books and uh, it's also a licensed sex shop on the bottom. Over on the left we've got community police masking bicycles which uh, get nicked here very very often. If you want to ride your bicycle around here I suggest that uh, you get, I don't know, loads of locks on it because uh, every bicycle that I've parked up in central London around here has got nicked. Uh, what's on the left? We've got Geisha, Japanese restaurant and the facility. On the right here uh, the Dean Building works on the Groucho Club where uh, people like Kate Moss and Damien Hurst uh, frequent on a regular basis. It's a uh, Gamma the Japanese and Korean restaurant, not been in there. Lots of restaurants here, so many. There's a, a Signor Zilli, a Zilli bar, uh, a, a fixed price brasserie, uh, Las Iguanas, which is a chain of really poor, detestable food, really, really horrible stuff. Focus London, whatever that is. Over on the left, um, we're starting to see this uh, crane um, up ahead, and that's because there was uh, a massive fire uh, on the 10th of July in 2009, where um, the residents of Future Capital Partners um, caught fire, and uh, two firefighters were injured, minorly not majorly and uh, uh, so they're rebuilding uh, the whole place at the moment it's uh, you can see it right there where it's all uh, kind of um, sheeted up here we've got a 72 to 74 royalty house which uh, is where Charles Dickens uh, began his acting career yes he was an actor at one point amateur actor and it's also where he meant, uh, met George uh, Cruikshank who did all his illustrations and his books so back in the day before he started uh, writing he uh, was acting in that very theatre over there Christmas. Uh, the uh, Crown and Two Chairman which is uh, another pub there's a little Soho Remembers sign on here which uh, is to remember the uh, pub around the corner, the Admiral Duncan, that got nail bombed. The Sunset Strip, uh, which is uh, some sort of um, gentleman's bar, I think. It's 
lots of scantily clad women in there and uh, I've already been warned not to shine my camera in there. Uh, Marx, Karl Marx uh, lived here in uh, above this building here up there and he had a hard time there because uh, he lived there in 1851 to 1856 above this restaurant which is now uh, Marco Pierre's restaurant, two of our dis. Get up from underneath there. This is an award winning restaurant. Uh, this year it was Tatler's Restaurant of the Year. And Karl Marx lived up there with his uh, children. He was very, very, very poor. And uh, he had one of the worst rooms in the place. It was uh, called one of the cheapest quarters of London and he had five children living with him and three of them died while living there in infancy and uh, there was born communism uh, he obviously really had a really really bad time there um, some Chinese places, we are close to Chinatown so they've uh, got some Chinese uh, shops there uh, number 22 and then number 21 here Mozart played a recital uh, in this building right here. It doesn't look like much now, but Mozart was here. And uh, right next to it, we've got Soho Theatre. Other people who play there are Russell Brand and Eddie Izzard. They started uh, their comedy stand-up routines there. And uh, nothing here, agency.com. A lot of these um, media type buildings around here are quite discreet. So uh, you don't really see too much um, uh, on the window. A big network bank. If you're a Natworth customer, then uh, we're coming up to St Anne's Court on the left, where there's Soho Thai, which is supposed to be an award-winning Thai restaurant. Uh, I really didn't think much of the food there. Really, really um, poor quality. Definitely not anything like eating in uh, Bangkok or anything like that. Have a cappuccino and um, uh, some kebab. Korean food. That's a, an interesting combo. Another pub on the left, the uh, Nelly Dean. And on the other side, we've got an Indonesian and Singapore restaurant, 12 Dean Street there. Now, at number 10, which is now Pizza Express, that used to be a hospital. Uh, that used to be an ear hospital and uh, there were quite a few medical centres along this road in the old past. It was um, the equivalent of uh, like Harley Street in the past and um, they also uh, treated venereal diseases here in this very building so uh, if you ever kind of think oh I wonder um, who figured out what kind of rear was um, it was probably in this building uh, number eight, I uh, don't know what that is, Jum Buck, interesting, and I uh, don't know what that is, another abandoned place, lots of abandoned places here. Coming up to uh, the end of the street now, it's not a very long street, starts at Shaftesbury Avenue where we started off and ends on Oxford Street. There's a good shortcut um, uh, to beat all the uh, busy crowds on Oxford Street and uh, up Charing Cross Road. Just take this little shortcut up from Chinatown. Free Wi-Fi here. Freshly squeezed juices. Uh, Pompidou coffee shop. Oh, Red Veg. 
they uh, do all vegetarian dishes. Uh, everything on the menu is vegetarian. Very cool. Lots of people in there. Then there's another bar here. A traditional pub. <laughs> they have to actually put that on their title. Funny. Um, that's the bathhouse, uh, Tesco Metro on the right, that never used to be there, that's fairly new. Uh, the Couch Par Bar, the Couch Bar and Eating House, losing my voice now. Uh, it's another bar. And uh, really coming up to the end of the street, that's number one Dean Street, followed up by a subway. If that's number one then... Oh, that's 1A over there, and then what's that supposed to be? If that's 1, that's 1A, what's that, 1AA? One one, oh, that's 1B, oh, that's interesting, goes around the other way. Um, number 100 on this side. It's back in up or leaf. Is it any good? Let's have a look at the dishes. Uh, looks alright. Might give it a try sometime. Donnelly shoes. Shoes. And right at the end of the road, there's an office block thing. And then uh, a Cornish bakehouse. Um, this was formerly Oxford Street, and uh, now they've given it a number, which is interesting. So there you go. Orange shop right on the corner just to top things off, and where on um, uh, Oxford Street and just to round things off um, some bobbies on the beat except they're not real policemen they're community policemen so I hope you enjoyed that this is quite cheap for uh, things to do in London and that was Dean Street until next time take care